Hello there, Ali here from Logo Diffusion, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Logo Diffusion to create brand assets. And as you can see here, uh, we have a new dashboard with V2 of Logo Diffusion. Now you can choose to start with text or uh, start with an image. So for our tutorial today, we're going to start with an image. So you can just go here. And before we get started, I'm going to show you a few examples of how I use this tool to create these different brand assets. I was using the uh, Nike logo. And in these examples, you can see all the prompts I used uh, with these uh, images. They were all based on one image, as you can see down here. And they all took like 20 minutes to create around like 10 uh, different concepts, including testing and changing the uh, prompts. And today I'm going to show you how I did this one. And as you can see, this is a new uh, workspace made specifically for image to image to make it easier uh, to do edits. And you can start by uploading an image here or uh, starting uh, a sketch. Uh, now, if you click on the sketch, you have the option here to upload an SVG. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with an SVG of this uh, Nike logo. Now this SVG has a background uh, shape for the color, but we already have a background tool here, so we can just uh, delete it. So I'll just uh, delete the background and then just click on change background. And here we can pick any colors we want. I'll do something kind of like off black. And to get started with creating these assets, I'll start by going to the 3D tab over here. And let's say I want to create an image that we can use for an ad or a social media post. So I can just go to, uh, let's start with something like fantasy art. And let's say I want the logo to be in a sky view, for example. So what I can do here is I can just write a really simple prompt, something like clouds in an orange sky to get that sunset look. And let's click generate. And as you can see, these are the results we got from this prompt. We can see that we got different versions of it showing the Nike logo uh, embedded in the image result. Now, while, while doing something like this is fun and useful. Sometimes you want to use brand colors and you want to get something uh, really precise. And this is why we added this uh, tab over here. So we can use click on use image colors. And if I just switch to yes, now the AI is going to be using the colors of the image as well, not just the shapes of it. And let's say I want to do something like an embroidered uh, look. So we can start with a prompt saying something like embroidered logo on a black background and I would just add something like black fabric background now before we hit generate we need to do a couple things so first we need to specify colors so this will help the AI understand the exact colors you're trying to target so I'm picking orange and black and also let's raise the image influence a little bit so I'm doing something kind of like mid between mid and high to make sure that the AI follows the contours of the logo more precisely. And then let's hit generate. And we got our result uh, following the input image and the colors. And as you can see, we got different versions. This one's kind of like looking like a buff uh, 3D. Uh, here we have some, some issues with it. And the way to make sure that you always get the exact same shape is you can just always go uh, to high which will force the AI to stay within the shape of the logo and not try to do a lot of these uh, kind of like weird artifacts. Uh, for example, here, it's trying to do something looks like kind of like blending into the shape of, of the fabric. But if you need results that look more like this, you can just go all the way to high. Now, once you have this set up, you can just easily start changing background you can just easily start changing colors. So, you know, here I can just do like a background, make it red, and then make the logo uh, yellow, for example. This is kind of like what I did to do this image, which is kind of like what if Nike and McDonald's had a collab. Another thing is, another image I did uh, was this, kind of like trying to do the logo made of lightning. Uh, this is the previous example I showed you, and another example of the embroidered uh, Nike logo. Now, uh, if I clear this and just upload another uh, SVG, uh, so I have this 
ChatGPT logo. And let's say we want to create some Christmas themed uh, designs using this logo. So let's turn off use image colors and specify colors. Let's keep this between mid and high. And let's try something different. So for example, I'm going to go for like a cinematic look. And let's do something a little bit more vague. And let's see what logo diffusion can come up with. So let's do Christmas themed scene. And let's click generate. And we got some interesting results, kind of using the logo with a Christmas background. We got a different version of, the, of them that could be used for like an email header or a social media post or an ad. Uh, but let's say we want something more specific. So let's say I want to make uh, the ChatGPT logo into a gingerbread and you need specific colors and backgrounds. So in order to do that, uh, I can start by changing the background. So let's, let's pick red for the background and uh, I want this white part to be the actual uh, gingerbread so I want something kind of kind of like a cookie color so I'll do something like this and then I want uh, the black parts to be uh, the white powder sugar on top so I'll just pick uh, each part of each shape and I can just click on the color here and then just make it white and basically just do it for all the shapes. So let's do a prompt like logo made of gingerbread sugar powder on top blank red background. And let's make sure that we use the image colors and increase this to kind of mid between mid and high and uh, for here i want to go for the 3d look because it's cleaner for these kind of shots and let's click generate and these are the results uh, we got from this prompt and as you can see all of them follow the colors and the shapes of it uh, some of them look a little bit uh, different but you can always control that from this slider to make sure uh, that they follow uh, the contours of the logo precisely and once you're happy with one of the results you can just click on it and just click on remove background and in a few seconds you're gonna get a version of uh, this image without a background that you can just put it on photoshop or just use it in figma and just try to fit it to your design now i've i've used the same uh, image to do a couple more prompts uh, so for this one i tried uh, like a cupcake uh, here's another version of the uh, uh, gingerbread. So this is pretty much how you use uh, Logo Diffusion uh, to create brand uh, assets starting from your logo or pretty much any shape you have. If you can upload it as a PNG or an SVG, you're good to go. But of course, SVG is going to give you that uh, ease of use in terms of changing colors uh, and like resizing and changing the shapes uh, exactly how you need. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one.